AC. In my world, I you have no AC. Oh my gosh, in the I'm falling. I'm falling at 30 miles. Or oh, you'll have to get there by AC. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to. Um, <laughs> the fact that, that you uh, don't know that you are going to be introduced to new characters for the first time again is fine. So we'll play the Mystic. Okay. Into the Mystic. And it's. I think it's a better character fitting. Because I don't have to play lawful stupid. <laughs> the thing I'm really bad at. <laughs> I actually did some research. I might be able to play lawful stupid. Mm. Might. Not I yet. might not. I might not be fully lawful. Not so when you were playing yet. Sullivan, that was like the piece de resonance, the response <laughs> of lawful stupid. That's like yeah. a textbook. You need to make like a YouTube video. How is it not play a power? <laughs> I'm gonna do oath of <laughs> conquest. <laughs> Is that evil? Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> how how tall are dwarves? Doesn't matter. He's three foot two. How heavy is he? Oh, let me, oh then I gotta actually. He's let's three hundred and forty-two pounds of pure. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> half of it's dirt. The other half is Sullivan. You don't know where the two end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> He took a blood oath with his clan, Nakamura, and then he kept tr shit talking them. <laughs> Fuck those guys. I mean, technically, Drummond did the same thing, but you know, Drummond's not a paladin. Exactly. <laughs> You're still lawful good, though. Yeah, which is why I'll play a lawful good anything except the paladin because a paladin has oaths. Lawful stupid. Oh, and if you have oaths, you have to be able to be good at role playing. Yeah, I didn't know that at the time. You should have done your research. Pretty much everyone says that on YouTube. It's my first <laughs> D&D game ever, and I was like, what class do we need? We need a tank? What's better than a tank than a paladin? No. I played D&D for, like... A fighter. A cleric. Like, probably, like, the past 15 years out of all the years that I've lived, I've played D&D that long, yeah. and not one person played a paladin. Really? Because nobody likes to play goody two shoe characters, right? Because it's really annoying if you got like some party member that's no, not. No, but you, then you come along and then you say you would play pound. I was like, whoa, he's actually gonna, he's <laughs> gonna do <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I had no idea what I was in for. You didn't even <laughs> warn me or anything. You're just like, okay. Okay, so <laughs> just if, accept if, it. So just to sh tell you how it, how I would do it, if I was to make a paladin, you're not gonna murder anyone unless they hit you first. No, I would, I would have to look at very closely at some of the different oaths. I would talk to the DM, and I would probably make my vows, my wedding vows. And then I would have a personal quest that's going to be tied to family, probably. That's the way I would personally do it. But it's anyways. all fun and games, till you come to that one moral decision. Or just, like, yeah. imagine. You're a fucking America. paladin. <laughs> Captain America is a paladin. Yeah, exactly. He's more of a fighter. No, he's like his actual him. fighting style. He's more of a fighter. He's. A you were like playing like Han Solo. <laughs> I was playing Han like, Solo. <laughs> Beware my longsword! <laughs> Accidentally stabs. Evil doors. That's a nun. Doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly. I'm not in it for your revolution, sweetheart. I'm in it for the money, and I need <laughs> lots of it. Give me this gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's you and Connor right there, walking around. I'm not doing this for the money. Oh my god, it's a paladin. Please help. Where's the money? Oh, Cuff it up, bitch! Connor, I completely <laughs> forgot. He completely side swiped everybody again. Huh? On a Who? third. A How? third side. Wait, what? Who did? Yeah, okay, so he was in a, uh, he was in a, he was in a fight with the, uh, the demented doctor in the Hyoven, and he had Moira. Like yeah. in po mid operation, like laid out there. I kind of egged him on there. I didn't like know with her throat wide open. Yeah. Like, and I told, I warned him. I said, the doctor's the only one here that can put her back. You, you know, nobody else has the expertise to put her back. So if you kill him, that's in the end of Moira too. And, and then we kill completely him. ignored it and <laughs> it just. Uh, went on into. Was that to plot point doctor. supposed to actually lead to something? Because he wanted the scalpel. Yeah, that was supposed to lead 
<laughs> we just ended up with city guards surrounding us and ditching. Yeah, and then you guys like were like, I don't know, you guys were dragging her body around after that. <laughs> we, we took burned. the organ we and it just kind of died. I was literally just <laughs> had her slung over my shoulder. And you guys I was were like, like <laughs> let's take her. No, let's leave her. Let's we leave wanted her. to take bury her. her, give her a proper funeral, but that. And then that one guy that played the mage who wanted to fight everyone at level one. Yeah, that dickhead. <laughs> And had two spells. <laughs> two. Jump. And not jump. And and uh, light. No, I like that because you know what? That's when I invented the wanted level. When he, <laughs> that's right right when I invented the wanted level thing when he started to cause trouble. Sounds about right. Yep. <laughs> that guy was a fucking dumbass. Guarantee we have five stars back there right now. And then he almost committed the ultimate sin too. What? There's a thing called player, player addiction. And it's when you go ahead and you play a character, or sorry, it's called character addiction. I'm pretty sure is the term for it. Yeah. And it's when you play a character, you don't like it, so you kill him. Pick a new character, you like him, and then you kill him, and then you do this endless cycle of different characters. <laughs> but you're, for what reason? <laughs> it's no it's kind of like flavor of the month. It can get it's like a I spiral. want sherbet this time. Yeah, it's like this like. That's why I didn't kill my paladin because I always knew if I ever wanted to, I'd have him there, and David could use him if he needed to. And that's why I didn't choose a different class. I made like this weird homebrew class that I wanted to test just so I could give you a backstory. Mm. So, yeah. Something that's kind of scary to me when people choose new classes, it's like, um... Yeah. Uh, sorry. Yeah. It's well, a whole rant. I, I remember that. He trying to... He didn't, he didn't like his character. And it's kind of like... He just made it. And it was like the first day. And yeah. it was like... And I'm like, is this kind of... And this is like the, uh... This is like the, um... View. Like the fourth thing that he did that annoyed me. You have angered the DM. Roll for failure. <laughs> Roll to see if your mind just melts away. So. Oh, <laughs> shit, Saitama. Oh, shit. I found okay. Everybody, uh, run! One punch. Oh, this one. Oh, uh, okay. Saitama? Saitama, but real. Okay, this is Tara. Oh, okay. Uh, you, Saitama. Thank you. Tara. you <laughs> Tada is her name? Tada. Tada. Okay, Tada was Ta-da. a... Tada was a... Uh, when she was 13, she was sold into uh, prostitution. Uh, sold to the Yakuza clans. I don't think she made very much. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> she is the only one who got that. What? So... Yeah, we don't play lawful good. Wow. <laughs> I'm a sarcastic lawful good. I get to make dick jokes sometimes. You know Change your class to neutral chaotic. What? You know who Sargon of Akkad is? No, no. Oh, okay. He made a offhand rape joke. Who the at fuck? A, at a. Uh, Sounds like the Papa John's dude. British. He's, he's British. But he made an offhand rape joke. And he's like a, uh, you know, like a shit starter. And the real dick says stupid shit like that. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, yeah. So she was uh, sold into prostitution, and she was forced to uh, live a life as a prostitute for over 20 years. And then she finally got out and escaped from under the uh, Yakuza and uh, became a Buddhist monk. So she's living in one of the temples, the Iris Temple, and she's a strong, she runs the Iris Temple that's near uh, the Hideyoshi clan, and she's one of uh, Namu's strongest allies. Okay. She has a lot of, you know, she has a lot of information, she's a good contact. Okay. Uh, is she in her vicinity, or? Uh, this is just backstory that you, you know. Oh, okay. These are contacts that I you've know. You've never met her, but you've never but you've heard of her. The, the, me- the timeline suddenly readjusts and all these memories flood in. Got it. 
That's and, how... he, and for some reason, there's a lingering feeling. Connor's a bitch. Okay. Caspian's flaky. I'm gonna call him. <laughs> Casp? I'm not Caspian. Connor. Okay. So this is what Connor looks like? So <laughs> I honestly don't understand why he's so attractive. Oh, wait, that's Connor. But, okay. Wait, you don't know Connor? Him? No, I just don't understand why you made him attractive. <laughs> if it was me, I would have put him in like a hag body or something. I'll pull up the picture. <laughs>